We're coming for you and your family. You and your family should be sent to Russia to be killed. Encouragement of me to commit suicide. Um, all of those have been forwarded to the Department of Homeland Security's uh, security services. And, you know, that's that's not uh, something that is American. Hmm. That's Nina Jankowicz, who's finally starting to experience some of the stuff that she's caused other people to experience. Welcome back to the show. Dana Lash here. She was on with uh, that guy who looked like uh, Duckface from um, Full House, but it's not him. Chris Hayes. And she was she's the victim. Guys, don't you know that the tyrant, once they're called out, they're always the victim. Nina, J she can't theater her way out of this. I was telling Stephen Wan on break. She's why like theater kids kind of I have don't shut up. Everybody's going to get all upset and I don't care. Shut up. I quit taking everything so seriously. Theater kids are kind of annoying, and she's one of them. This is why I think it just goes into, like, my sort of my bias towards theater. That and my mom took me to see Cats. That was the first thing I ever saw. Totally biased against theater ever since then. But she's, like, one of those. She couldn't sing her way out of this one. Also, I called disinformation on her claim. I don't believe her. I for sure know people have said nasty things to her, but I don't believe her. I really don't. This is what she was like. It was taken out of context. She says all these buzzwords. All of these non sequiturs taken out of context. And no, it wasn't taken out of context. People were using your legit whole entire video that you yourself would post on TikTok or that you would post on some other platform. And people were responding to that. They were embedding your video. So how in the hell is your singular vi your videos, how are your videos taken out of context? That's such a stupid excuse. She got caught. She looks stupid. It's completely cringe. I mean, I am embarrassed for her. She is so partisan. It's so cringe and it looks pathetic. I am embarrassed for her. This is, she's someone who, I don't know what she does. Like, what is your disinformation job? It's a BS job. She's a partisan. Her job is to, is a propagandist. Her job is to figure out who's saying something that, that contradicts with the White House. And then we're going to go off and sit and establish something on this and say that that's, that's somehow disinformation and so she was saying oh that was you know it's wildly out of context it was her tweets like literally her tweets no one was taken out of context and she's an incredibly partisan actor again we have the receipts we have all of the stuff that she herself has typed and published on public platforms and i love how she says i don't have the time for this childishness I'm not going to let it silence me. No one cares about you being silenced. No one paid attention to you until you were elevated way beyond your rank and skill set to a make-believe position that was entirely funded by people more successful than you, the American taxpayer. She's a mean girl. I want to bully mean girls. I don't like mean girls. You're a public servant. You're not a victim. And I sure as hell am not going to be gaslit into thinking that this broad is some kind of victim. I have utmost contempt for her. I have no pity. I feel no mercy towards her at all. No courteous, courteousness at all whatsoever. She is a partisan snake in the grass. End of story. No one has anything to apologize for. No one has anything to apologize for but her. She was the one who went after everyone online trying to say that, oh, well, they're, they're promoting this Hunter Biden laptop thing. It's false. It's false. It's false. This is Hunter Biden. La she was the one who was so partisan and so hateful online. And she has the audacity to, oh, she's suddenly the victim. Her. She's the victim. Because she's now experiencing what she's caused so many people to experience. Well, she would not last a day in my shoes. She wouldn't. She wouldn't last a day in the shoes of the average conservative female online. But she's the victim. I mean, she legit wrote songs based on musicals and performed them on her phone and uploaded them online. But she doesn't have time for quote-unquote childishness. The only videos that we have of her are of her singing and glamorizing herself, singing into the camera. She's selfie-obsessed. I'm not going to be silenced. No one cares, to, cares if you're silenced. We just got you out of your position. So we're the victors, and you lost, and we don't care anymore. Oh, I feel really petty about this, because she's the type of person who bullies people. Can you imagine if this board were allowed to continue? She would be going after every average Tom, Dick, and Harry out there. 
She'd be going after average people. She'd be pushing you around. And I cannot stand bullies. 